Mid-infrared is booming. Let's examine why and what's next. Light is key to understanding the purity level of every solid, liquid or gas, close by or far away. That's because each molecule absorbs specific discrete wavelengths. But there's a complication. Luckily for us, planet Earth is filled with water, but humidity levels change constantly, and that directly impacts our ability to precisely detect the levels of greenhouse gases like CO2. But there is a solution. Use mid-infrared wavelengths, where molecules absorb very specific wavelengths that water doesn't, specifically between 3 to 12 micrometers. Sensors inside a car can also monitor useful things in real time, adjusting ventilation if CO2 or NOx levels build up inside, or warning you that exhaust emission levels are below standard, so go to the garage. The same technology saves lives in other ways. You can detect explosives like TNT from a distance of 500 meters, independently of challenging weather conditions and other sectors could benefit too. In normal times, an estimated quarter of a million people die each year in road accidents due to drunk driving. Europe has some of the highest figures. We have laws about using seat belts, but imagine a mid-infrared sensor inside the car could disable the engine if it detected alcohol on the driver's breath. Such a simple solution saving so many lives. In fact, many biomarkers in breath detected by mid-infrared sensors can predict how healthy you are now and flag problems in the near future. In 2016, a public-private partnership between the European Commission and Photonics 21 anticipated the importance of mid-infrared. Funding for a pilot line was granted to boost production of this strategically enabling technology. Today, MIRFAB is an open technology platform, providing services for device design and fabrication, as well as chip processing at wafer level, and also packaging, testing, and training. On the detection side, we already have champions. However, as well as cameras, you often need to illuminate the object. Quantum cascade lasers are key to what's called mid-infrared active imaging. The challenge is that, until a few years ago, Quantum cascade lasers were much too expensive. But the creation of MIRFAB provided SMEs with production services at a much lower barrier to entry. Upscaling the volume meant lower cost per unit while creating local jobs. European companies are at the forefront, including MIRSense, NanoPlus and Alp Lasers for the QCLs, or the Polish success story Vigo system for the mid-infrared detectors. So what's next? MIRFAB has shown that together we're stronger. As MIRFAB concludes its mission, it's time to go one step further. We're now calling for other European players to join us to maintain and grow the innovation process. We're calling it the Mid-Infrared Alliance, a group of companies with shared common goals that raise awareness of what mid-infrared can do for society. Everyone is welcome to join. Let's take action.